The countdown is on. Just two weeks left for UPS to reach a deal with its union workers. With talk stalled, the Teamsters are holding rallies with rank and file employees all over the country, including right here in Louisville that you're seeing here today. Now, one of the biggest sticking points is just how much will UPS raise its entry level pay, which is currently about $16 an hour. People come to work and work very hard for UPS and they're living in homeless shelters or out on the street or they can't take care of themselves because they just can't make a decent living at UPS, even though that UPS is making a lot of money uh, off the work that these people are doing. So it's very important for us to raise the part-time wages up, just like everybody else in America is doing these days. You know, we're staying on top of this story because, I mean, UPS has thousands, tens of thousands of employees here in the, in the market. And even if it's not you or somebody that you know, you're probably getting a package through e-commerce. Right. So let's bring in WDRB's business guru, Chris Sotts. Chris, yep. we've gotten a closer uh, look at how huge this effect would uh, a strike would uh, yep. potentially affect the, 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 pe yeah, the people yep. at home. Tell us more about this. Well, I mean... Basically, what we can say is that if you rely on e-commerce, you know your your packages may be delayed. Uh, it's possible that they that they won't, but almost all experts agree that FedEx, the post office, other carriers out there cannot take all of that package volume from UPS if the workers were just to walk out. Of course, UPS will try to keep things going. They say they're training their management to step in and load those cars. Uh, but the Teamsters have some powerful allies. They talked today at their rally about the pilots. You know, this is one of the probably the most important hub in the UPS network is right here in Louisville. And those pilots are not going to be flying planes. Mm. So the supervisor, you know, management pilots may be able to step in. They may be able to rely on contractors. But basically, come August, you may expect some delays in getting things to your doorstep if this strike comes to pass, and of course we don't know if it will. Uh, that's a really interesting point. I hadn't heard that yet, that pilots would not... Yes, they would they've confirmed. And in 1997, not a single pilot of about 2,000 of them crossed that picket line. They did not work a single hour while the Teamsters were on huge. strike. That could have a huge, huge impact because there's not enough management to take over for 330,000 rank and file. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so the union keeps talking about these part-time wages. You got some news today on a specific dollar figure that they're right. after. Yeah, basically it's $20 an hour or north of $20 an hour. You just saw Fred Zuckerman. He is the leader uh, or the second in command at the International Teamsters and was the leader of the local union here for many decades until he assumed that post. And I spoke with him and, and he said north of 20 is by far a reasonable expectation. He said even some McDonald's are paying north of that and UPS is a quality job that needs to raise the wage they need to keep up. Uh, I said, what about 25? Some Teamsters want to see that. And he said, well, we're still in negotiations. He did not want to go that far. So I think that gives you a pretty good idea of where things might settle out if we do get a deal. And of course, in Louisville, they're already paying north of $20 an hour mm -hmm. for entry level workers. The issue is they're not contractually obligated to do that. They can go back to 16 at any time. The Teamsters say it's time to lock it in. All right, Chris Otz, thanks for this window into the negotiating room. Tens of thousands of jobs at stake here. We look forward to your next article on WDRB.com.